Hello, dear ladies and gentlemen, my name is Margaret and I have a pleasure to represent SGH Warsaw School of Economics not only as a part of its rector's office, but first and foremost as its alumnus. I started my journey with this university quite long time ago when I came here from Belarus. And right now I can tell for sure that SGH and Poland have become my second home. I have obtained my master's and bachelor's degree in international economics at this school and right now I would like to get you acquainted with the place which is so special and precious for me. SGH Warsaw School of Economics was set up in 1906 and operated in rented buildings. Rector Miklaszewski was an ardent proponent of the school having its own campus. In 1926, the tightly knit school campus complex was designed by Jan Witkiewicz Kostrzec. On account of limited financial resources between 1925 and 1926, the standalone Building A was constructed, which is nowadays used for teaching purposes. In the first half of the 1950s, the main building was also constructed. Students, lecturers and guests of the school appreciate its convenient location next to an underground station and a tram interchange by one of the main arteries of the city and therefore close to the very center of Warsaw and at the same time at the edge of the Pola Makotowski Park. My name is Marek Briggs. I am head of the department of Innovative City, but former I was a deputy rector and dean of Warsaw School of Economics. And I am connected with the university since 1972 when I passed my uh, entrance exam and started to be a student here. When developing the design of our campus, Jan Kosciusz Witkiewicz, the architect, was guided by a unique idea of combining space with freedom of thought and expressions. The pyramid-shaped ceiling symbolizes authority, power, strength, strive for perfection. We are in the parachute hall now, with its spectacular dam rises 40 meters above the ground floor. The Parachute Hall is the central place of the hall of our university, its heart. It serves the students' social life. Events, meetings, fairs, open days and many other attractions of different kinds are organized here almost every day. This is where we connect students with business representatives who present them options of jobs, apprenticeships and internships. This is the largest auditorium in the school and has almost 800 seats. It has a representative character. It hosts the most important university events, among others, inauguration of the academic year, the SJA Feast Day, the awarding of diplomas to doctor, graduation ceremonies, and others. About 4,500 graduates of bachelor's, master's, PhD and MBA studies come out of the university every year. During conferences, lectures and ceremonies of awarding honorary degrees, we have hosted Nobel Prize winners and distinguished guests. The library building was built in 1930. It is a unique architectural object and the second in Europe built specifically to house a library. The building uses an innovatively developed way to store and deliver resources to the reading room via elevators. Colorful mosaics on the attic of the facade of the library symbolize a book that is being opened. The reading room has a surface area of 864 square meters and a head of 9.55 meters. It is illuminated from five sides of the world by three glazed cupolas and windows from four sides. The reading room ceiling is supported by 18 wooden columns. It can accommodate up to 400 readers. The library has approximately 1 million volumes of books and newspapers in its collection. It makes available over 700 Polish and foreign current newspapers and approximately 10,000 of newspaper titles with full text in computerized databases. 
Very soon after the pandemic outbreak, the school made available specially equipped remote workrooms for conducting classes using a dedicated Microsoft Teams room application, as well as so-called flip room with a special multimedia flip chart. Thanks to the support of our business partners from the SDH Warsaw School of Economics Partner Club, we have developed computer rooms with large screens that enable conducting classes with the use of multimedia, thanks to GSW. A unique green area providing the students and employees of the school with a unique space where they can work together, thanks to Deloitte. A gym intended for such activities as aerobics, pilates, functional training, thanks to Deloitte. The qualitative research room creates a number of opportunities related to the possibility for students to acquire knowledge and skills in the field of designing and conducting focus research. The available multimedia solutions as well as various space organization systems in the presented conference and workshop room create opportunities similar to those provided by co-working and creative hubs. The SDH is known that it attracts enterprising and active students. In our buildings, there is plenty of joint workspace for them. They use, for example, mobile offices from our partner, the Henkel company, which are soundproof. In these places, work is facilitated by the possibility to connect the technologies used at work to a power supply. Young, talented people in order to thrive need high-quality knowledge which we provide for them, but they also need adequate space conducive to experiments and maturation of business ideas. We have created co-working space thanks to the cooperation with our partner Millennium Bank. Open space encourages communication and the exchange of thoughts, which in turn spurs creativity. The ability to pursue joint projects that's, besides knowledge, one of the most valuable skills in the professional life of our alumni. Our partner, the Accenture company, has created a room with a zone for group and individual work on the library's premises. We have also prepared a joint workspace and meeting space designed for students of MBA programs and alumni of the SDH. It includes a training and conference part and a leisure part. Specially designed open space encourages the exchange of views and the start of discussions, which, as a result, can contribute to the creation of new initiatives or the improvement of existing ones. As a leading Polish economic university, SDH attaches great importance to social responsibility and sustainable development, both a part of our development strategy. Beside, the school has implemented a number of initiatives within the framework of the participatory budget for employees. Those include a bicycle network, making it possible to move between buildings and around the school area. Arrangement of a flower meadow for the bees living in the apiary on the roof of the nearby SDH library, as well as installation of nest boxes for small insective birds, birds and bats in the campus area. On the roof of the library of the SDH, there is an apiary inhabited by five families of bees. SDH is situated near the vast park Polomokotovsky. Acacia, lime and multi-flowered honeys are harvested in it. Promoting culture within the walls of the SDH is important in connection with the school's social responsibility. The school has a song and dance ensemble, the choir and the theater, which take part in international concert, festivals and competitions every year. They also add splendor to numerous celebrations within the school. The statue sitting on a bench is August Zielinski, the founder of our university. This part of the rector's gardens is a great place to relax, for students and staff alike. Various events are organized in other parts of the gardens, such as the students' festival called Juvenalia, or the closing ceremony of SDH One. At SDH, there are approximately 4,000 100 students of undergraduate programs, 6,000 students of graduate programs, and more than 380 doctoral students. About 4,000 people are enrolled in post-diploma studies, and over 200 students pursue the MBA qualification offered by our school. We are currently constructing a new educational building a few hundred meters from the main building, the SDH Hub of Innovation. 
It is going to be a modern, environmentally friendly and energy efficient building with nearly 1,000 seats in lecture halls and laboratories, as well as group work areas in line with the Sustainable Development Strategy.